study buddies and welcome to another episode of Scarlet Studies with me, Scarlet, aka your YouTube big sister. The reason that I call myself that is because you guys ask for my help with a lot of big questions and I love that. One of the biggest questions that so many of you have asked me is how do I deal with bullies? I've been wanting to make a video about bullying for like a really long time, since the beginning of Scarlet Studies, but I've just never been quite sure how. Bullying isn't a science, it's not a math equation, it's a really hard thing that we have all struggled with, even me. Recently, I experienced some bullying in my own life. And because of that, I had to make a really hard decision about my job as a super pop at Totally TV. So I thought today, maybe what would help you the most would be if I just talked to you from the heart about what happened to me. So stay tuned, things are about to get kind of personal. Before I get started, I want you to know that none of the actors at Totally TV are bullies. None of the super pops are bullies, none of the bunglers are bullies, not Majesty, not Cheshire, not James. Everybody in the cast is truly so, so nice. I probably wouldn't be making a video about this if it was about any of them, but you guys can rest easy. We are a team. We love and care about each other, and we all, oops, oh, it's the super pops. We have a group chat. Hi everyone. <laughs> See? And we are so excited about the K-pops and the rap pops. They also have nothing to do with anybody leaving, I promise you. So as you know, my very good friends Zaria and Stephanie have recently decided to leave the Super Pops. You can watch Stephanie's video where she explains why she left right here. She also answers like a bunch of your questions in this video. It's awesome, you gotta check it out. As the bullying at Totally TV has gotten worse, a lot of really hard decisions have had to be made. I'll get to all of that in a minute, but first, I have some research for you because of course I do. So, what is a bully exactly? The dictionary defines a bully as a blustering, mean, or predatory person who, from a perceived position of power, intimidates, abuses, harasses, or coerces people, especially those considered unlikely to defend themselves. And they do this because it makes them feel stronger. In some cases, the power they have is physical. If you're smaller than the person bullying you and they're threatening you physically, that is absolutely not okay and you just have to ask for help. Actually, no matter what kind of bullying it is, you truly need to tell somebody that you trust what's going on. In other cases, who's bigger might not have anything to do with it. The bully might think they have the right to treat you poorly because they have a group of people to back them up or because they're in a position of power. A position of power means that somebody's job or their status puts them in charge of people. For example, teachers are in a position of power because they're in charge of their students. Bosses are in a position of power because they're in charge of their employees. Even parents are in a position of power because they're in charge of their kids. That last one changes over time. I used to have to go to bed when my parents told me to, but now that I'm a grown up, I get to stay up as late as I want and then feel super tired the next day and completely regret it. But the point is, no matter how much power anybody has, nobody has the right to bully you. Being bullied doesn't mean that you're weaker. It just means that somebody else needs to feel stronger. And you should know that many of your friends have gone through the same thing. 90% of students from ages 9 through 15 report that they have been bullied or harassed. 90%! You are definitely not alone. So what do you do? As Anna says in Frozen 2, when things seem really hard, you don't have to fix it all by yourself all at once. All you have to do is the next right 
thing, one step at a time. If you're facing a bully, especially one who you think might try to hurt you, your next step is to tell someone. Ideally, it would be somebody in one of those positions of power, a teacher, a counselor, your parents, your friend's parents, all of the above. They can help you. Don't let anybody convince you to keep quiet by calling you a snitch or a tattletale or a goody two shoes or anything like that. Those are just lies to make you feel powerless, but you're not powerless. You are strong. Tell somebody today if you or anybody you know is being bullied. Pinky promise? I'm waiting. Okay. After you've told somebody, your next step is to make it harder for your bully to hurt you. And one way to do that is by being confident. Bullies lose their power if they know you're not afraid of them. And they'll be thrown off their game if you start acting strong. I know that sounds really hard, especially if your bully is really scary. One thing that helps me in these moments is the power of make-believe. Have you ever heard the phrase, fake it till you make it? The idea behind this is if you pretend to feel something, you might actually start to feel it for real. It's like acting. Every time I put on my Electropop outfit, all shiny and red, I feel strong and smart and magical. Even if underneath it all, I actually feel kind of small and scared. The next time you think you might have to deal with a bully, I think you should take a minute all by yourself to imagine you're putting on a confidence cape. Go ahead, try it right now. Imagine what color your confidence cape is. Does it come with a whole outfit? Does it come with a mask? Does it come with a ring? Throw your amazing confidence cape over your shoulders and turn into your superhero self. Bullies want you to forget how strong you are, but you can never forget. If you're still struggling with bullying, there are a lot of amazing resources. One of them is this number right down below. The bullying that I dealt with wasn't at school. It was at work and there was nobody that I could go to for help. At first, I wasn't really the one getting bullied very much, but I saw other people being bullied about their bodies, their talent, sometimes even their race. I took an oath as a super pop to do what's good and right. And for me, Scarlett, I felt that the right thing to do was to speak up and say that the bullying I saw wasn't okay. But the more I spoke up, the more the bullying got turned on to me, which I knew was a possibility. I was called a lot of really mean names my bully told me that I needed to learn how to keep my mouth shut. My bully tried to convince other people that I was crazy and not smart and that I needed to be replaced. There were a lot of times where I just felt like a prop and I saw my friends treated like props. Soon things went from being just frustrating to scary I started to feel like I was not safe at my job and that's not okay. So after two years of acting, writing, producing, directing, singing and dancing and getting to choreograph dances and coming up with crazy outfits and making some of the very best friends that I have ever, ever made, I have decided that I have to leave Totally TV and the Super Pops. Nothing like this has ever happened to me. It makes me really sad, and it also makes me really upset. It's not fair. It shouldn't be this way. The moral of the story is, if a bullying situation just isn't getting better, the only thing you can do at the end of the day is leave. Keeping yourself safe is the most important thing that any superhero has to do. Because if you're not safe, you can't help other people. I figure that this news will be hard for some of you to understand. I wanted to really take my time and tell you in my own way because I know that other people have left recently and it's been really hard. And 2020 has already been such a crazy year. The last thing that any of us need is more turmoil and change. 
but sometimes change is good. Sometimes change is necessary. I promise you that I stayed as long as I felt that I could. Being a part of the Super Pops has been one of the greatest honors of my whole life. A year ago, most of you had never heard of me. I became an actor because I wanted to tell stories to people all over the world. And I'm so, so grateful that I got the opportunity to do that playing Electra Pop and playing Emma, who is basically just me anyway. It was one of the best jobs I've ever had even though at the end it was kind of tough. All the fan art, the costumes, the birthday cakes with our faces on them. I kind of can't believe that it happened and I'm really glad that it did. I love you guys so much. And I really hope that you'll stick with me here on my channel. If you hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell notification, you will officially join my study buddy club. Study buddies will be the first to know about new videos, merchandise, and more. I'm gonna be posting vlogs and singing covers, live videos with friends, virtual sleepovers, and of course, more Scarlet studies. So, that's it. That's today's video. That was a tough one. As always, I'm gonna ask you, what should I study next? Let me know in the comments and I will see you right back here next week. I'm not going anywhere. Bye.